I think a lot of people it still kind of feels like a dream. But instead, it's the kind of reality no one wants to go through. Um, playing a tremendous ball game. Uh, we thought we uh, playing great. The Rebels led the score 21 to nothing. They ran a fourth and goal play just like any other. On the end of a play, on that play, uh, uh, Jake uh, fell down. We don't know exactly what happened. Athletic Director Anthony Richardson says Logue went into cardiac arrest. Emergency crews performed CPR before taking Logue to the University of Tennessee Medical Center, where he died. There's, there's a ton of emotions. Um, obviously sadness, a lot of sorrow. Um, it's it's kind of unbelievable right now. I guess a lot of some anger. The team met together to talk about their feelings, pray together, and to remember Jake. Probably from Middle school starts till 8 o'clock at night, we're all together all the time, and every day is a new story. Many have known Jake for years. Um, he was a great guy. He was funny. He was the funniest guy I know. For now, Faith is holding up the Rebels. But we just know that uh, it was his time, and, uh, and we don't know why. And of course, we question it like everybody does, but uh, we love him, and we know he's in a better place. Their pain is shared, so they'll stick together, carrying on as Jake would have wanted. And, you know, he loved football. He loved this team. And so right now that's what we're going to do. A season dedicated to a teammate, a best friend, a brother.